Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. For a quick little blast i've got my v4 creighton and my italian not sure if i'm gonna run my italian at this particular spot or not this is kind of a kind of a gnarly terrain it's real rough um, i did put the copperhead twos back on the creighton um, if you can tell i do have the uh, v3 body my, my v4 body finally just laid down it was so cracked up there was no saving it uh, this one is is very reinforced um, so hopefully this one's gonna last a little bit i just had to redo the uh, body mounts uh, but no real changes to this truck um, on my Italian here, I did do a, a pretty much a uh, somewhat of a restoration. Um, she's got a brand new body. Finally, the, the original body lasted me almost two years, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I did do some, some mega reinforcements in here. Uh, one thing I did is uh, I put some extra Lexan all up in here in the front. I like from your Proline bodies, when you cut them out, you got the extra pieces of Lexan. I always save those. Um, and I put some pieces up here in the front and around the body holes and then re-drilled through that so it's real firm right here so hopefully the body hole should last uh then i did uh, some some mega uh, drywall tape and shoe goo in the back and then did the uh, three uh 3m like gorilla tape with the 3m tape and then hit it with the heat gun to melt everything together so she's she's very rigid uh hopefully it's going to last um she does have a brand new electronic system in her uh, 18 tooth pinion i just went through the entire truck cleaned it up really good so um, again, this is you know my favorite truck. You know if anybody asks, um, I just I recommend this to, any, to anybody who, who loves speed um, and wants to bash too. Um, I just love running the stock guitars. Uh, to me, they're the, the best tire for the truck. They're very lightweight, keeps her uh, agile and flies like a bird. So, all right, we're gonna give it a quick run. See how it goes. Oh, oh, man, right into that log. See one tire that's not spinning. Ah, yep, pulled the uh, pillow ball. Oh, <laughs> that cut her off. Guys, this is some really rough terrain out here. Ah, looks like my wing got ripped off. slap it's like that took some uh <laughs> some shoved a body mount straight through the body that's insane <laughs> that's some hard landings out here I 
got the body parachuting. Oh man. Oh, that was close. Those last minute backflips are tricky. <laughs> uh, that killed her. That cut her off. So we go and call it with the crate, and she's uh, taking a beating out here. It's a super rough terrain. Alright guys, got to tell you now, um, I don't have a whole lot of time. I'm just going to give it a quick little uh, run here. I've only got about half a charge on the battery pack anyway, so. Alright, let's see what's up. Oh man, whoo, that was close. T boned it right there at that stump. That would have been brutal. <laughs> Tell you what, guys, when it comes to pure rocket launches, nothing flies like the Italian. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, we're going to call it. This Italian is a freaking beast. <laughs> anyway, it's getting late, starting to get dark, so uh, this battery's probably about to LVC. I don't want to overdo it. But, um, loving the Italian, man. Like I said, she is my favorite. <laughs> Nothing rocket launches like her. But, uh, the Creighton was a blast today at the construction site. Um, much needed bash. Uh, we've had a lot of bad weather lately, and I was out of, been out of town and stuff, so it was, uh, felt good to get out. Alright guys, until next time, RC Dude 81, peace out.